All right, guys, hopefully you're doing well. Uh, obviously, high-level game. Villanova played really, really well. Uh, I think the turnovers turnovers definitely hurt us. Um, I thought the first half, I would say the last 10 minutes of the first half, we were kind of disjointed. Uh, and obviously, we didn't play as well as we wanted to. I was glad of what we did at halftime with the adjustments that we made. And, you know, the fight of our group, you know, the fight of our group was outstanding. And... You know, you know, it's funny how you get the calls. Well, how are you going to play? You're going to play this one. You're going to play that one. You know, the fact that somebody even has to ask that question or send a text message to me about how we're going to play, to me, is just rude. You know, you, you, you play to win games. You have guys in the locker room fighting and battling. And I'm just proud of our group. We came up short play against a great team. Villanova's a great team. You know, um, they earned the win. They deserved the win. But I couldn't be more proud of our group as we've shown day in and day out how tough in the resolve of the group we just came up a little short. So hopefully for everybody who thought we we're just going to come here and clap, you know, God bless you guys. Ed, can you talk about the decision with Al? Was that clear cut? And uh, again, you've had experience, you know, playing without him and you certainly showed that in the second half. Yes. I mean, Al is Al is dealing with a serious injury. You know, the fact that he's been able to play through some of it the last month is incredible. So the right thing to do for him, as we've seen the doctors and as the doctors, what they told us to do. So we followed our medical advice and, you know, whether we were trying to play uh, for a league championship today, he, he wasn't playing regardless. As you can see, he really struggled to get through that uh, last game at home against Creighton. Mm -hmm. And then and the, uh, again, this, the second half, it's kind of similar to Butler where you guys rallied, you know, without Al. Right. You know, and again, I think it's a testament to our men. It's a testament to their team toughness, their team grit. You know, on the road here, obviously, the pavilion is a really, really hard place to play. Playing against, a, you know, a high quality team that, you know, make a lot of shots. You know, we just uh, we made too many mistakes, you know, when the game was close and we just couldn't get over the hump. We couldn't get over the hump. And, you know, that's what happens when you make those mistakes. You know, you, you turn the ball over 16 times. And, you know, when you lose the rebound, when you lose the uh, uh, turnover battle and the free throw battle against a high quality opponent, it's hard to win games, let, let alone be it on the road in this league. Anybody else? I'll go. I'll keep going if you want. A uh, uh, little bit on AJ and his confidence. Ed, it looks like you know if he's ready for the postseason with more confidence than maybe he's ever had. Yeah, I mean AJ is shooting the ball at an elite, elite level, elite level. And you know when we're able to get him some shots, he's confident taking them. You know, I, again, I think it's a credit to our staff with how much work these young men put in with our staff. You know, and, and feeding them confidence. And the more confident they are, that you know, the more the ball falls. So we're trying to run some stuff to get all those guys some shots, whether it be he, Mania shooting the ball, uh, Hawk was shooting the ball, uh, Jared shooting the ball. Um, it's just, uh, you know, I, I give the I give the staff a lot of credit because they do a lot of work with our guys, individuals, and then in our team team shooting stuff, they instill a lot of confidence in our men. And how do you approach this nine day break? I, I'm going to approach it for us to continue to improve. Obviously, Evan, you saw today, we got to get better handling the ball. We got to get better rebounding the ball as we gave up 14 offensive, um, we gave up 11 offensive rebounds, three of which were really critical. In, 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 uh, and then our aim uh, on ball defense uh, and all, everything could improve. But this is going to be improvement. Obviously, we got to get, we got to get a little healthy. Uh, we're going to give them a day or two off, you know, get some stretching. Um, Make sure we get in the weight room uh, and then work on some film. I think part of this nine day stretch, we'll do a lot of film. We'll do a lot of self scouting as we don't know who we're going to play in that Big East tournament. At the, the shooting, particularly the three point shooting, you know, the last four or five games, and especially with AJ getting going, you know, just what sort of a weapon can that be for you going into the postseason? A huge weapon. Hopefully it opens the floor up for us. You know, and again, the way, you know, Villanova plays a very, very unique style, extremely unique style. And, you know, they force you to make the next play, the next play with the next play with how they defend. So you got to give them a lot of credit at the same time, give our players some credit for making and taking good high quality shots. And we're finding them 
early in transition and off of some of the sets we're trying to get him shots on. I mean, realistically, when, when you add Reeves to Bynum, who shot it very well, Horkler, who shot it very well, and, and Manaya, who has improved throughout the season from three, uh, you could put a lineup out there around Watson of, of four guys who can make threes. How do you feel about that as a five really going good. forward? I mean, I feel really good about it. You know, uh, you know, a little, little down, a little disappointed we didn't win today. But I think for the last 20 minutes, I thought we got better. The first 20 minutes, we had some, uh, some lapses. But the last 20 minutes, that was as high level of basketball as you're going to see in all of the country. And I think it's a credit to our league. It's a credit to the Big East. And hopefully we continue to improve. Thanks. Thank you. And even without Al, you guys go 18 assists on 25 field goals. Uh, what did you see from the group in terms of making the extra pass and, and finding the open man? Well, these kids care for one another, you know what I mean? And that was great to see in the huddles, you know. Uh, our players just showed a lot of grit, a lot of resolve. And, you know, they've been, you know, we've played a lot. We've been, we've been here since June. So they have a lot of chemistry, a, a lot of synergy, a lot of togetherness. They know the strengths and weaknesses of one another. And we need to play well coming down. You know, the final, you know, the season's over. So everybody's 0-0 from here on out when we play, right? We played 28 games. We we're fortunate to win 24 of them. We've lost some heartbreakers, today being one of the bigger ones. We've got to try to get better from this, put this behind us, and try to really focus in on a, a Big East tournament that our players are excited about. Uh, we're excited to go to New York City. We're excited to play whatever opponent that comes our way. Um we're going to try to, you know, we're just going to try to win one game at a time and hopefully continue to advance because from here on out, it's one and, a, and one and go home. Any more questions, guys? Well, I appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.